Well, there was a film premiere that took place uh, on May 26th at Noble Horizons. Uh, the film was Coloring uh, Our Past, a film made by Salisbury School students in uh, the Searching for Slavery class. And uh, with us uh, today on Robin Hood Radio, we have uh, Caleb May, who is uh, uh, a main cog in, in, in this, putting this together, but also the teacher of the class, which is Ronan Mokriski. Uh, Mo- Ronan, thanks for, for taking a few minutes and joining us. And same to you, Caleb. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, one quick question for you, Ronan. Uh, what, what inspired you to put this, uh, this course together? And uh, what did you think, uh, how it developed and, and finally wound up with the film? So I um, have been a long time history teacher, my master's in history, you know, I, I've been I've been at it for a long time and, and in the town of Salisbury for well over two decades. And um, I was going to do a course on the Underground Railroad in Salisbury. And as I was researching it, I was uh, really shocked to find that that slavery existed in Salisbury, that people were enslaved here. Um, and so I thought that rather than this folk, this course on, on the Underground Railroad, a story that 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 people like to tell. Let, let's let's start telling some hard history by looking back and see um, the, the, what what it was like to be enslaved in Salisbury and, and what race what role race played in the development of this community. All right, now um, uh, Caleb, uh, what did you think about the, uh, about about this when it first was presented? Um, well, the first class, uh, Mr. McCriskey asked us to name. I think it was five black people not involved in the civil rights uh, movement that were born before 1950. And I stopped it. I stopped it too. And it was kind of at that moment that I knew that I needed this as part of my education. And then the next class, he gave us kind of the topics that we could cover over the course of the year. And he talked about uh, the Caesar family uh, who I covered in the film and said that they, li- they lived in Salisbury and I've lived in the Salisbury Lakeville area for the past 14 years and had never heard of of the Caesar family. So that was kind of the second moment where I was like, okay, now that I'm in this class, this is the route I have to go down. This is the the information that I have to find. So I was was super excited to to learn more about about, um, my town's history. It's, it's, you know, it's, it's amazing. Uh, and, and what's great about this is you deciding to put it together in a movie. Did you enjoy, um, the research that went into this because there must have been a ton of research that went into this. How many people were in the class uh, that did this with you? Um, I think it was a a bunch of people kind of, uh, helped out with the project at certain times. It was, it was about five, five people that kind of stayed with us throughout the entire entire project and as for the as for the research i think it was some of the most rewarding work i've ever done at school uh we got to work with uh miss overton overton who's a descendant of the caesar family and she did a lot of the research before we even got 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 to this class so we got to learn from her but then we got to interview her and uh interview uh, a man named dennis culliton and we're just working on this project, bringing this story to the big screen. It was some of the most rewarding research um, that I've that I've done at the school, and you know the the guys that that did it with me would would say the exact same. It's, it's you know it's amazing when you when you look at the topic that that you're 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 doing the film on coloring our past uh, uh, on slavery. Uh, it must be kind of like going down a rabbit hole because the deeper you, you, you go into that rabbit hole, the more you find, and then the deeper down you, you, you have to dig even more. Yeah, we, we definitely encountered that in the making of the, in the making of the film. Uh, there were some parts we had to cut out cause we felt we were just going too, too deep into it. We had to make some creative choices with that. Uh, but there was, there's, just so many directions you can go down because the information has never really been been out there before, and so we could have gone gone several different directions in, in talking about uh, various different different topics. But they, at the end of the day, we knew that we wanted to uh, bring the story of Miss Overton finding out about her history, her her free family that lived in Salisbury. We wanted to bring that to the big screen, and. So we knew we had to commit to that and kind of just stop because there was there were so many different options we could have gone with. 
Well, you went with a good option. As a matter of fact, I think a great option because now, with a record like this, it truly does become part of the town's history. Yeah, absolutely. That was um, one of the one of the reasons that I chose to do a film. It was kind of like the first uh, thing that popped into my mind when Mr. McCriskey was like, "All right, you have your topic. Dis disseminate this information however you want." Because first off, films are going to be. If we put it on the internet. It's going to be there there forever. And we can send it an infinite amount of times to anyone and try and get this information information out there uh, because a lot of Mr. McCrisky didn't know about the Caesar family. I didn't know about the Caesar family. I, I, I bet 99.9% .9 of this town didn't know about the Caesar family. So getting it out on the internet, making this film easily accessible was was a big, big thing for us. We're speaking uh, uh, right now uh, with... Uh a student from Salisbury School. What 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 by what what year are you in at Salisbury? I am uh, just finishing up my senior year, so okay. graduating. All right, uh, and that's Caleb May, and we're talking about um, coloring our past. A film made by a uh, Salisbury uh, School students. Okay, so now you've you've gotten all this information together, uh, and which itself is probably extremely time consuming. Uh, I, I think people realize now, after all these interviews I've done with students at Salisbury and also Hotchkiss, that you have an incredible workload that, that sits on you for normal things throughout your school year. But now you've done the investigation, you've put things together. How long and how hard was it to transfer it to make it into a movie? I mean, I, most people don't realize that uh, most of what you shoot uh, probably uh, it doesn't make it because you've got certain time constraints. Yeah, it was, it's a long and complicated process. F filmmaking, like this was the most, like I said earlier, this was the most gratifying project, but it was at, at times the mo one of the most frustrating. So we had to ship a camera and a microphone to Miss Overton's um, grandkids who were in Texas. And we did the interview. We were on Zoom. They did the interview. And then we had to get the, we got the, uh, the files back up here. And then just a bunch of roadblocks in the way. I, I went out and filmed one day and none of I, my uh, memory on the camera was full. So none of it saved and I had to go back out again. And then there's just a million moving parts, parts in a film. Uh, so I think all in all, like it took like a month and a half to get just the 13 minutes you see uh, in the film done, like completely, completely done. Marshall, I'd be remiss as a teacher not to point out, um, in typical teenage boy fashion, uh, Caleb was editing like minutes before the premiere. So uh, it, it was uh, it was really time consuming right up to the last second, literally the last second. And the power was flickering in, in and out and, you know, add a lot of gray hairs to my head. You know, and what's interesting, and you, uh, from a teacher's perspective, uh, it's it's. Really, I explain to people uh, the amount of work that these students do, and their what they're also their sports and other activities. Uh, this is something to put so much time into. Uh, it, it it could have the potential to disrupt other things they do. Um, his mother's uh, going to hold it against me if he doesn't get five <laughs> on his APs. Um, they, Caleb is a varsity athlete. Caleb is a prefect. Caleb is a guy who throws himself into every aspect of this school. But I think it speaks to this type of learning and this type of authenticity where, where kids really want to tell these stories. You know, they're tired of being told on um, what happened in the past is wrong. What they want to know is how to make it better. And that's exactly what Caleb did. Now, is, where is this movie available? Is it available for people that are listening right now? Uh, is there a web, is, it, is it a school website? Is it a YouTube page? Uh, I mean, where is it available? Yeah, so it's uh, available on YouTube. It's available on the Salisbury School Vimeo. It's available on Instagram. We just posted it and uh, under the, the name Finding Slavery. That's our Instagram page. I believe it's also on Twitter. So there are a lot of different platforms that you can you can find it on. Uh, that uh, I think our, our YouTube page is searching for slavery or, or again, finding slavery, one of those two. It's um, searching for slavery in Salisbury. So yeah, searching for slavery in Salisbury. So it's on a, a couple different media platforms that you can find. All right, now, Caleb, uh, let's focus in on you. You're a senior. Uh, what, what's your next step after you finish this year at Salisbury? I am uh, off to Burlington, Vermont to attend uh, 
the University of Vermont and study wildlife and fisheries biology. Are you going to somehow try to mix that in also uh, with uh, with possibly in the future documentary docu- doc- documentaries? Well, I definitely uh, I, I think I, I found a passion in, in filmmaking. It is an absolute blast to do. It's it's long and arduous, but but in the end, you're able to bring someone's story to the big screen. Um, so definitely, 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 I want to get my hands on camera equipment up at UVM and uh I think doing something revolving around nature and and filmmaking, bringing those two together would be an absolute dream for me or or continuing to do um, trying to bring people's stories like the Overton's to the big screen is it's incredibly rewarding and I would love to do it in the future. Now, Ronan, once again, for you in the the perspective of a teacher, I think what's great about this is uh, it's the amount of education that one student will get uh, or any students will get from going through this process uh, would take a million hours in the classroom uh, and yet uh, they go out and they dig it up uh, and it's it's non-classroom type of work yeah i mean i just got out of the way really that's what i did and and, and, you know i became the kind of the project manager and the inspirational whisperer and the the warm demander like that's that's my role as a teacher now And, and we'd be remiss if we didn't thank ben willis um who um, is is a, a local documentary filmmaker who's also brilliant, and he also gave us countless hours of his time to help shape this. So it really is not about me. It's about these boys and, and, and putting them in a position to do this important work. Well, I think it's about uh, education. In, 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 in fact, uh, in general, at Salisbury School, uh, like other schools, that uh, uh, you have really changed. Schools have changed with the times and offer uh, um, unbelievably imaginative ways to keep students inspired and energized uh, uh, going through this work. So con- congratulations uh, to the school and you for setting this up. Uh, I'm going to direct that towards Caleb. Caleb deserves all the praise, but thank you, Marshall. Uh, Caleb, once again, uh, just uh, 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 amazing. What we're going to do is uh, on our On Demand page, which is robinhoodradio.com uh, On Demand, we'll put this interview up and we'll put the different links uh, to the film so people uh, in our listening audience can get an appreciation of, of the work that goes on in our in our area. And also, uh, so with so many people coming into the area and so many people living here not knowing about it, learn more about the area that they live in, Caleb. I think that's that's one of the most important aspects of this is it's part of the history and people can learn more about their, their community they live in. Absolutely. That's that's what we aim to do. Uh, I believe I'm a firm believer that that change and, and education are are have a, a very close relationship. So hopefully with more people getting educated in, about the town, we can strive to like a, a more inclusive and better America. Well, I want to thank you both for joining me today and, and uh, great job with this. And uh, when I finish with you and I finish putting together the, uh, the links, uh, I'll sit down this afternoon and take a look at it uh, from my home. So thank you both for joining us today. You guys. Thank you very much. Marshall.